It's a new year and a new chance for you to make a fresh start with your compliance. Or we're going to be bringing you a daily tip, strategy, or idea that you can use to improve your program. Here's your host, Tom Fox, the Compliance Evangelist. Day 9, 360 degrees of compliance communication. A 360 degree view of compliance is an effort to incorporate your compliance identity into a holistic approach so that compliance is in touch and visible to your employees at all times. It is about creating a distinctive brand philosophy of compliance which is centered on your consumers. In other words, it helps a compliance practitioner to anticipate all the aspects of your employees' needs around compliance. This is especially true when compliance is either perceived as something that comes out of the home office or is perceived as the land of no. A 360-degree view of compliance gives you the opportunity to build a new brand image for your compliance program. This is important as the 2020 update mandates that for a compliance program to be effective, it must be understood by a wide variety of stakeholders. Communications is often thought of as a two-way street, upward and downward, inbound and outbound, or side to side. However, it is better to think of it as a 360-degree effort. You simply can no longer effectively communicate in just two ways. You now communicate in a much more holistic manner and in multiple ways. If you are just thinking about communication in the classic form, you are missing something that has happened around you. 360 degrees of compliance communication is not just a classic form of communication, but rather it is communication in the concept that every interaction, whether planned or accidental, is all a form of communication. This is particularly true if you're a compliance professional or CCO. The things you do, the way you act, the way people see you, you are always communicating. It is not simply communicating one-to-one, as often you may be communicating to a group across siloed boundaries to constituents you had not even planned to initially communicate with. There are several concepts which should be included in your 360-degree view of compliance communications. Begin with an objective so you can identify the purpose of your communication and target of whom you are going to communicate to and with. Identify as clearly as you can the purpose and reason to ensure your message is aligned with your objectives. For instance, are you implementing a 360-degree view of communication to educate, inform, change perception, or build trust and commitment? Next, who is your audience? To communicate effectively, you need to understand your audience. In any corporation, there are multiple audiences who are the key stakeholders in a 360-degree process. How much do they know? Some of the stakeholders include the boards of directors, senior and middle management, employees, committees, coaches, facilitators, customers, etc. What are your distribution channels and how will you track messaging? You should create a comprehensive method to track the intended audience and delivery mechanism. Another key ingredient of the 360-degree approach is feedback. This is a key component to educate each stakeholder on the benefits of feedback from the 360-degree approach. Finally, you need to evaluate what you have done. You can monitor your communication activities by tracking attendance at events, website statistics, open rate of emails, downloads of materials, video hits, in other words, the same techniques that your marketing folks would use to determine their messaging's effectiveness. The objective is to build trust for the 360-degree process by determining if the goal was achieved. You can utilize surveys or focus groups to assess the impact on your target audience. By focusing on your customers, it allows you to identify gaps and improve communication for your compliance program. Using such an approach allows a CCO to see around corners, and this can be one of the greatest strengths of a best practices compliance program. The reason is listening. Listening is a key leadership component, and there are certainly many ways to listen. You can sit in your office and wait for a call or report on the hotline, or you can go out in the field and find out what challenges the employees are facing. From this, you can work with them to craft a solution that works for the company and holds the company's ethical and compliance values. The best example I can provide to you was told to me by Louis Sapperman, Vice President and Chief Ethics and Compliance Officer at Panasonic Corporation of North America, Panasonic USA. This story happened to him in Argentina when he was the CCO at Dun & Bradstreet. Argentina was, had, has an interesting form of illegal conduct, which is an open black market for the changing of currency. Sapperman was with a colleague who was one of the leaders from the company's South American operations, and they went to a convenience store. The person who was going to sell Lewis the products suggested he go around the corner and change money on the black market and get a much better exchange rate 
almost 100% difference in the exchange rate indeed. However, he declined to do so. Saberman paid and received the established bank rate in the same tra- small transaction. He had not been considered <coughs> role modeling about compliance in that instance. However, about six months later, one of his team members was in Mexico speaking to the leader of the DNB operation there. The non compliance function employee said that he was a person who had been with Sapperman. He recounted the story of doing the right thing literally when no one was watching. That is the power of 360 degrees of communication. So, what are today's three key takeaways? Number one, remember the definition of 360 degrees of communication. It is an effort that moves the compliance identity into a holistic approach so that compliance is in touch with and visible to your employees of all, at all times. It is more than up and down, side to side, or even in and out. It is a true holistic view. Two, what is your objective? And three, evaluation. You need to evaluate if the message has been delivered, if it's been heard, and if it's being implemented. This is Tom Fox again. Thank you for listening to this episode of 31 Days to a More Effective Compliance Program. I hope you will join me for the entire month of January where I take a look at some of the significant changes in compliance and FCPA enforcement which occurred in 2020 and will help inform your compliance program going forward into 2021 and indeed beyond. 